Hello everybody. This is my first review of The Chicks, formerly the Dixie Chicks new album. The first time I'm going to talk about how I feel about <clears throat> everything that's happened to them. Okay. I'm going to go jump back to 2003. We were about to go into Iraq and The Chicks were in London doing a show in March of 2003, right before Iraq. It was only a few days, I think. It's hard to remember. Um, I went over to like they had YouTube by back in 2003 when it didn't start to 2000, a couple of years later, I think, in 2005 after the Janet Jackson, Justin Timberlake, Walter malfunction. Um, but. <clears throat> Well, basically, everybody should just go watch the Dixie Chicks Shut Up and Sing documentary. Um, you can find it here on YouTube. It's on DVD. Um, now, there's show, I don't remember. The show started on March 10th. We went into Iraq about, like I said, about know, three days later or so. I mean,. I have the DVD, I mean, the comment is not mentioned in it, which means either they edited it out or, you know, I don't know. It was at least a few songs in. Um, of course, I've been a fan of them since, let's see, their first album came out in, what, 98, I think. I was... <sighs> Well, I think <clears throat> this was the end of middle school for me. I was, I mean, I did a middle school paper on the Spice Girls, for instance. sakes. And that was, <clears throat> they almost, my teachers didn't want me to doing that, but I did it anyway. So, starting to become a bit of a rebel, wasn't I? <laughs> anyway, yeah, they, you know, just Natalie says that she was afraid, afraid that the Dixie. And that George Bush was, how did it go? She was ashamed that President Bush was in Texas. Again, they were in London. I mean, he was in the White House, I think. What did go into Iraq? Sorry. Um, anyone who might think I do wear a lot, make too much mascara. It is true. I just. I don't know. I just feel like one coat doesn't look enough, so I just layer it all on. Anyway. The next thing you know, it was picked up by the paper of the Guardian and it spread over from London to here. And the backlash began and the they had a number one song, Traveling Soldier, which was number one and then Back then, people, I mean, now I don't think people play much music on the radio, especially the chicks after the comment was made. And, I mean, I don't know what song replaced it. And then, the next thing you know, they were fighting with Toby Keith over his song, which he wrote after 9-11, called The Angry American, courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue. And again, you guys should go watch Shut Up and Sing. It's awesome. I might go watch it now. <sighs> um, I'm watching South Park instead. This is actually like so far the other side of the universe. <sighs> oh, yeah, I don't need that right now. All this stuff. I'm not going to mention that, but anyway. People were yeah, banning from the radio, and then people were burning their music. And I mean, I something I don't really remember. That didn't happen. That only happened in like you know big cities, not here. And I live in a small town in Illinois, and of course, a lot of my friends seem to think that I live in Chicago, which I don't. <clears throat> but I mean, my dad lived in the city for. 
a long time, so I mean, I'm only a couple hours away, but anyway. The rest of the year, they were, like I said, fighting with Toby Keith and trying to, I mean, I guess they didn't, well, they weren't, yeah, they're still on tour. <coughs> they came back to the U.S., and they started in South Carolina, and, you know, I could feel the Angry Birds, as the game is called. And, um, what happened if we had that game back then? Anyway, we went on and on with the tour, knowing that many people didn't want to see them. I got to see them. It was here, and it was... Like, summer of 2003, you know, we're in Iraq and trying to find Saddam and everything, and of course, I don't really remember most of that very much, but, I mean... In, in, the show, in the documentary, right. several years went past and they started running for new music in 2005. Their, Emily, who plays the banjo and, the, and a bunch of other instruments. You see, she was like, having twins, and it was pretty big by this point in the show, and anyway, they, she had her twins, I mean, they, they struggled, both her and her sister placed the fiddle in the, in the band Marty, um, they both struggled to have children, and they finally had, each had a set of twins, and, I mean, I think their sister has twins. But anyway, in 2007, they came out with a new album called Digging the Long Way, which is uh, obviously like all their albums. It's awesome, of course, and people should go check it out. And it was number one without... Uh, people by this point were buying music on online and not CD and people it's interesting now because people still buy CDs I mean I see them all the time and of course and, and vinyl is back in style which is interesting which we're uh, anyway they people uh, they were on Entertainment Weekly which with not much on in terms of clothing with a bunch of like it had like Saddam's Angels and a bunch of other crazy stuff. This was you know, minus the comment of course. I mean by the end of that tour of two thousand three I think and Natalie, the singer that spoke out, she I mean she wasn't the only one. I mean there was Bruce Springsteen, John Mellencamp and a bunch of other people. Nothing wrong with freedom of speech, but you know, as somebody said in the shut up and sing, don't speak out. You know, that's probably places or something like that. It kind of sounds like now, actually. I am going to do a video about this year and stuff at some point today. But. I think the chicks went on tour in 2007, but I'm not sure. It, anyway, by... I mean, it, go, it goes between 2003, 2005, 2007. I think it came out in 2011, which by this point, the chicks were... Emily and Marty went on to do a couple of solo albums under... Courtyard Hounds, and Natalie did her own album a few years back, and it's called Mother. Um, and let's see. 
I don't think they would, they just sort of disappear to do their own, raise their kids. I mean, they have, Natalie has two, Emily has three, Marty has three, so. Natalie's oldest just turned 16 a couple of days ago. That's crazy. Only one kid that turned that age recently. I'll do another video on that another day. Let me look at this. I did this a few years back and I barely made any of those videos, so I should try to find that diary. But anyway, they just came out with a new album called Gaslighter. Now, Natalie went through a very painful divorce. Her husband, well, ex husband, is Adrian Palestar, who was on the show Heroes, among other things. I've never watched that show, but, no, I didn't know that she had gone through that, and Marty also split from her husband years ago, and Emily did too. She was married to Charlie Robinson, who was the singer in Texas, and her husband, her, sorry, Charlie's brother wrote the song Traveling Soldier, which like I said was number one when the comment happened back in, of course, 2003, and... I don't, I don't know what happened when he found out that their the song was not number one anymore. I'm sure it was, he was probably devastated. I mean, I was like, you know, for a long time, I mean, I had no idea what where the chicks went. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of bands, you know, were off with their, doing their own thing. Like, I mean, like the Spice Girls did when they you know, between like 2000 and when they got back together in 2007, they were raising their kids too. And anyway, and this article from Entertainment Weekly, and there's also a great one I've ripped out of people. There's post breakup, there's a great album. I've only listened to about half the songs, of course, so far, so good, but I'm just glad to see them back. I mean, they were planning on touring, I think, but then all this stuff happened, and supposedly, and now the, the album got pushed back a couple of times this year because of COVID and all this fake stuff, and I mean, I was like, like, we need this album right now. I mean, it's... Not necessarily about the breakup angle, but the... You know, just something new from the chicks. Like they said, the last album was about, you know... This album was about infidelity and stuff, and the... I did learn the day. Sorry. The last one, I'm thinking the long way, was about, you know, like I said, having, trying to have kids, and, I mean, the song, their song, I hope, I think, was written after Katrina, and then Not Ready to Make Nice, everybody knows what that song was about, you know, trying to, you know, people were so angry towards them, and probably still are about what she said, but. I mean, by 2006, I think, at the time that that album had taken a long way to come out, I think many people were upset at George Bush for Iraq getting worse again and Katrina's response and, you know, not his fault that happened, you know, he was, and he was there in Katrina in New Orleans after the storm. People think that he wasn't, you know. I mean, it was in New York just three days after 9-11 happened, and the rest of the world hears you, and people will listen to all of us soon. And, I mean, that will always echo in my mind, like a lot of people, but, you know, I know I've seen many videos of 
people commenting on their album and I thought I'd give my two cents on because I love the chicks and I always will and I always give my support. I mean, I retweet like everything that post on Twitter and share all this stuff on Instagram and you know. I mean, last week was like about the longest week ever. I mean, this album is finally out. I mean, it's only been out since Friday and I'm curious how they're their sales are doing. I mean, I hope they're doing well. I hope. I hope they're number one again. I mean, because it's been a long road for them since comment land. Like I said, that was fourteen years ago. I think thousand four, thousand three. Sorry, seventeen years ago. I don't know, but anyway, that's my two cents, and and everybody should go get the album. There's, and by the way, Marty from the Chicks, she posted a picture of the vinyl cover, which is like bright pink, and it's, I mean, it's pretty awesome. Obviously, and... Watch them on YouTube and please check out the rest of my videos. Everybody knows the girl. Subscribe, like, only nice comments, please. <laughs> the bad ones I'll delete. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day and a great week. And please get the checks to number one. <laughs>